good morning you gorgeous lot and welcome back to my channel if you are new thank you for joining us on this glorious occasion today's video is an exciting christmas decoration haul so i've come to my lo local retail park we have got tk maxx matalan B&M and Home Bargains and I aim to go around every single shop, film a little bit of what's in each shop and then at the end I will show you what I've bought. So I'm not sure about everyone else but I have had the same colour theme on my tree for about three or four years and I'm totally happy with it. So I have a white and silver theme and every year I actually forget what baubles I've got and then I get them out of the loft and I'm like oh my goodness they're gorgeous. So I'm probably not going to get so many baubles today because I know I've got some gorgeous ones in there but I'm looking for kind of pieces to decorate the house with and also just get some ideas and show you lot what's in the shops to save you having to go into the shops when it's the weekend and there's a mad rush so I am going to see what I can find and then show you at the end I'm also due to go to our local garden centre Whitehall Garden Centre it's absolutely beautiful does the most gorgeous decorations I buy something from there every year and I've got my eye on a garland for the fireplace. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get there before this goes live, um, but it is absolutely gorgeous in there. Maybe I'll do a separate vlog. We actually bought our tree from there last year. So we've got a false tree and it's pre-lit and it's absolutely beautiful. A um, little bit on the pricey side, but so worth it. So I'm aiming to get back there to buy the garland for the fireplace because I had my eye on it last year and I did didn't buy it in time but hopefully I will get to film that but if I don't I will just include everything I've bought today to get quite a few bits i'm talking a little bit quiet because the baby's asleep over there and i'm hoping to get this done before he wakes up probably won't but so i managed to get quite a few bits i got mainly bits to decorate the house with because as i said to you before my tree decorations i have quite a lot of so i did get some baubles because i was really really surprised of what they had in one of the shops also i have got footage of what is available in each store now these stores local to me are actually quite small so if you live near to a bigger store i would expect you would have a lot more a lot more to choose from so i'm going to start with the first shop i went in and that was tk maxx so i'm going to show you everything they've got they had some absolutely beautiful beautiful decorations if i hadn't have bought my baubles there was a pack that i absolutely love but because they were 35 pounds which is a little bit more expensive than normal but they looked like they were worth every single penny i would have bought them anyway they had so many gorgeous wreaths garlands loads of little cute ornaments they had so many beautiful bits I was thinking of going back there to get my table dressing stuff. But as you can see, there is so many things to choose from. So in TK Maxx, I only picked up two items, no, three items, two are Christmas decorations, and I picked up a pack of Christmas cards because I need them. So the first item I picked up is this absolutely beautiful little mini Christmas tree. I feel like these kind of look like snowy eucalyptus leaves, so I'm going to show you close up. Can you see it sparkles? It's so cute. And this is like a stone color. It's really, really gorgeous. Now this was only $5.99. I have got some shelves in the living room, so they're all built into the alcoves. And I like to put a few Christmassy bits on those, kind of swap some of the things that are on there for Christmassy bits. So I was thinking maybe I could put this on there or I could put it on my dining table. I haven't decided yet, but I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous. And for six pounds, it was worth 
every penny. This next item is also super, super cute. So I got these to go on the middle of the table when we lay the table. So we're not sure whether we are gonna be doing Christmas dinner for family or whether it's just gonna be for ourselves. Either way, I'm gonna dress the table up and I just thought these were so cute and so minimalistic. I'm a little bit like that. So I don't like loads of like massive loads of fuss on things. I like things quite like simple and elegant and I really, really like these. So I'm gonna put those on the center of my table and I've got something else to go with those. And they were 7 dollars which I didn't think was too bad. They look really, really good quality um, and they were also from TK Maxx. And then I just got these gorgeous Christmas cards. So TK Maxx are my absolute favorite for Christmas cards. They are beautiful. This is a pack of 16 and it was 4 dollars so yes, not the cheapest, but I do like a nice card. Whenever I get bought cards, I always actually look at them. I do look at them and I'm like, oh, this is a really nice card. I had some lovely cards when Spencer was born and I always notice the kind of different ones. And I feel like TK Maxx do some things that are slightly different. So it's a, just a Christmas tree, which is kind of a bit abstract. Looks like it's been painted on. And then it says Merry Christmas on the top with some sort of silvery writing. So I really liked those. So the next shop I went into was none other than B&M. They had loads and loads and loads of different colorways, loads of things to choose from, things for the garden, things for inside the house. They had loads of lights. That's one thing I didn't really look at was the lights because I don't need any lights, but I bought some beautiful bits from in there. So the first thing I'm gonna show you are these gorgeous, Oh, the baby's waking up. I can hear him waking up. Let's see if I can show you these baubles before he wakes up. So I've got these beautiful baubles. Now my color theme, as I said to you, is silver and white. So I have a mixture of white, mainly white baubles with some silver like bows and things like that. And I thought these were gorgeous. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take one out of the box to show you. So they were 2 dollars for a pack of six. And there are three different styles. So style number one is kind of this hammered effect. I don't know if you can see that very well, actually. Ooh, got black on my hand. Not sure where that's from. Probably from all the Christmas decorations. So there we go. So it's kind of a hammered effect, um, silver and white bauble. The next is just a standard kind of silver twist bauble. But it was this last one that caught my eye. I actually really, really liked the look of. I may not use all of them. I might just use like a couple of these. So this one's got like, <laughs> see this like pattern on it. And I just thought that was super nice. And they look way more expensive than they are. I'm not gonna lie, they don't feel way more expensive. They feel really light and actually like they could break. I mean, they're made out of plastic, I think. But yeah, so um, one, two, and three. So I've got a pack of six, so it's two in each style, and that were, they were $2.99. They also had this large pack, so exactly the same as those. You've got the two patterned ones and the two silver twist ones um, in a slightly larger style. So I just picked those up as well, and they were also $2.99 for a pack of four. As I've already said, I don't need many baubles, so it may just be that I use like an odd one or two out of these boxes, but to be honest with you, our local garden center, you will pay about six pounds for one bauble. So six pounds for, how many did I get? 10, and if I only use a few of them, I don't mind. So that's probably what I'll do. I'll just use like a couple of them, dot them around the tree. So the next thing I got from B&M, I have been after a garland to wrap around my banister for quite a long time. And I looked in every single one of the shops today and I couldn't decide whether I wanted like greenery or whether I wanted something a bit more like on the white side. And I saw this in B&M and I didn't pick it up to begin with because I thought I'm going in some other shops and I'll probably find something I prefer. And I went into the other shops and I couldn't find anything I preferred. And I was um and ah and you know when you're like, should I buy it, shouldn't I buy it? Whenever I do that, I always wish I'd bought it, so. So, I got these pre-lit garlands. So they've got pine cones, stars, and red berries on them. Now, the reason I was umming and ahhing about is I am not really a red berry fan. I don't mind the odd little bit here and there, but personally, I just don't love them. Um, but they were so reasonable. They were 6.99, that included the lights. So the other thing I was gonna do was find a garland 
wrap it around the thing and then buy some lights and I priced it up and this was a better way to do it. So what I'm actually going to do is I am going to take off the red berries. They're just twisted around with a piece of wire. So I'll end up with just this kind of white. So if you imagine the white, uh, the red berries not on there, I'm just going to end up with this kind of like pale white glittery. So it has got some glitter on it. Although I might spray some more glitter on it because it's not that glittery. But anyway, I'm going to wrap that around the banister because last year I just had some lights on their own. So when I first looked at this, I was like, is that too minimalistic? Because it's not like bushy enough. And then I thought, no, because I just had lights wrapped around there last year. And this has got lights sort of intertwined into it and it's got a little battery pack on it, which is perfect. So I'm going to wrap those around the banister. I will do an updated video on my Christmas decorations once they've all gone up so you can see how everything looks. So yeah, take the red berries off and I've got two of those to make sure I've got enough to go up the whole length of the stairs. Again, I liked how minimalistic they are and just like really plain colored. Obviously, if you like red berries, you can keep those on and it may be when I put it on, I decide I want to keep them on. So what I might do is wrap it round and see if I like it first. But anyway, $6.99 and I got two of those. So the next place I went was Home Bargains. I said that the little mini Christmas tree was my favorite, but I absolutely love these buys. I love them. Now, Home Bargains, I've got to be honest, the display was fantastic. I found it better than B&M. I find B&M obviously great value, but I find it a little bit hectic and a bit chaotic. And the way it everything is, I find it all a bit kind of... Yeah, chaotic. Whereas Home Bargains, I mean, their display was beautiful. It was all lovely and tidy. They had all different colors and they had it in all the different colorways. And they had it in color order and they just, it was just really, really lovely. And I spotted these gorgeous little berry boxwood potted plants. So there's me saying, I don't like berries, but I really, really love these. I really, really love these. So they're in a grey little pot. Now, again, I haven't decided where these are going. They're probably in the kitchen somewhere. I do like a bit of greenery and these are just like christmas fied because they've got the berries on. I'm not going to take the berries off of these because then they just look like normal topiary balls. Um, but they're just beautiful, aren't they? I think they're so, so beautiful. Again, I might spray some glitter on them to make them a bit more Christmassy. That's one thing I should have picked up, the spray glitter. I'll have to go and get that. Anyway, absolutely gorgeous. In Home Bargains, they had the most gorgeous, gorgeous wreath that I would have definitely bought had I not have just bought one. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I've just bought one from Ikea. So I didn't need one, but honestly, they were beautiful and I just loved them and they were such good value for money. These I paid 4 dollars I think 4 dollars each for these. And yeah, I just love them. So they're probably gonna go in my kitchen, I would say. That's where I'm gonna guess they're gonna go is on the windowsill in the kitchen because I just think they'll look really nice in there with a bit of glitter on them, love those. And then I got this from Home Bargains as well. Oh, you can't really see that very well. Maybe I should take it out of the box. I love the way it's boxed. Um, so if you were gonna buy this for a gift, I think it's gorgeous. It's called a Hurricane Tea Light Holder and it comes with an LED tea light. So this is for the center of my table again. So I've got the two little Christmas trees and then I have this tea light holder. So I'm gonna get it out of the box just so you can see what it looks like. I just think that is absolutely gorgeous. So I've got a bit of like foliage on the outside here, a bit of pine cones going on, some silver berries, and it's very glittery. I don't know if you can see that. And this sort of crackled glass effect tea light holder and then it's got a tea light inside. Let's see if there's any batteries in this. Oh, there it is. So there, it's got the little candle in there. Obviously, you could put a real candle in there if you wanted to, maybe a Christmas scented candle. But I just thought those in the middle of the table with those two little Christmas trees, maybe a few little other bits, but that just will look gorgeous. And that's what I bought that for. And that was, sorry, I got the price of the last thing wrong. These little plants were $2.99. It's this that was $4.99. So this was $4.99 and the other plants were $2.99 each, which makes me love them even more. Three pounds. 
Um, so yeah, 4 99 absolutely love that. So the final shop I went in was Matalan, and they had a lovely, lovely display. Again, loads of lovely baubles. They had really cute unicorn baubles. They had some lovely stuff to put on the table. They had some giant glass baubles. As you can see, just a really beautiful display. They also had these gorgeous white wreaths. Um, they were heart-shaped and I really wanted to buy one, but I had to stop myself because we already have a wreath. But had I, again, not have bought the one that I've got, I maybe would have bought that one. The wreaths are just so beautiful this year and it's something that I haven't really been that interested in year to year. So some more gorgeous bits in Matalan. So I only bought the one thing in Matalan because as I've said a million times, I don't need Christmas decorations as such. It's more to decorate the house. But I got this beautiful LED star light in a wooden material. And again, I just thought this was beautiful. So this is gonna go in the living room with on the on the shelf so I will probably take our globe off and pop this in the living room I think this is battery operated yes it is and that was 12 pounds so I really really loved that as I said in my intro I really need to go to our local garden center and get a garland for the fireplace so once I have decorated the house which will be December I know that some people have put their Christmas decorations up already and they are gorgeous but personally for myself, I am a 1st of December kind of gal and I will be waiting until then. And that doesn't mean I think that it's wrong if you put your Christmas decorations up before. I think each to their own, live and let live, do whatever takes your fancy. But me personally, well, I haven't even got time to do it at the moment. So 1st of December will be the day that I will put our Christmas tree up and all our decorations. So watch this space for a Christmas decoration home tour, I suppose you could call it. So I'm just gonna give you another little shot on the table of everything that I bought so you can kind of get a feel for the look that I go for each year. So here are the bits all together so you can kind of get a feel. So kind of earthy tones, whites, silvers, a little bit of red. Um, but yeah, these are the lovely, lovely, lovely bits that I got this year. Thank you all so much for watching that. I hope I inspired you all. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and a subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Thank you.